nicely. More lords? You look real confused, and rightfully so. Why does my lord have us on our knees in front of some blasters? Where's our credits? Blah, blah, blah. At the very least, I guess I owe you an explanation. I am a bad guy. Yep, it's true. I have done it all, boys. From a groping and a grifting, to loitering and larceny. I deserve to be locked up on Esther for sure. Seventy cycles ago, I started out as a pirate. With hopes of rising through the ranks and taking charge of the galaxy's worst skull. Little did I know, these pirates were more concerned with liberating the systems from the corporations than they were about dominating them. Sure, we did our share of troublemaking, but it was all for the greater good. Where's the fun in that? Fortunately, I had the opportunity to meet the gifted, yet cocky young pirate by the name of Primo Brownstar. That little queez was a genius with tech and real chummy with the captain. Made me want to empty my cloaca. I kept an eye on Primo, knowing the stuff he was working on could prove to be real handy when I was ready to take over. Then the Battle of Valcor had to go and port everything up. The corporation barely won and managed to capture a large part of the crew, including Brownstar. I managed to escape with a few like-minded individuals, and I started my own gang, the Slice Boys. I kept tabs on Brownstar over the years, through my network of corporate spies, just like my buddy Calvin here. The corporation was quick to learn what a genius Brownstar was, from his many attempts to escape just from stuff he found in prison. This caught the corporation's attention, and they offered him a job, and I wasn't surprised. I knew he was only doing it to take them down from the inside. Informants kept track of all of his activities in the corporation. He took them to new heights with technology, new weapons and ships. In true primo fashion, it was discovered he was working on a pet project of his own in his spare time. Then, when the corporation got wind of it, they just had to have it. Rockstar went crazy and stormed down the boardroom. He was later found slumped over the control panel of his pet project, connected to it with some thing on his head. He was still alive, but only a drooling husk. The crazy bastard somehow uploaded his mind into the ship. Can you believe that? And in his hand, he clutched a schematic labeled Project Worm Drive. Primo was removed from the ship, and the corporation quickly found the Worm Drive module with the help of the schematic. After the Worm Drive was removed, the ship fired up its engines and blasted its way through the holding bay. Never to be seen again. Until now, that ship brought you to me, and me closer to the Worm Drive. This research and development center peeked at the Worm Drive for years in hopes to finding its secrets to rip a hole in space and time itself. Apparently, they can't get it to work without the ship, and they can't get the ship to work without its crew. It's imprinted itself on you, Jizz Rods, for whatever reason. Fortunately, I paid Galvin here enough to let me in on a secret before the corporation. You boys belong to me now. Well, this sucks, Mom. Big old greasy bum. Oh, we were so close, Leslie. I can't believe we got tricked like a couple of Hemsley germs. Ah, we gotta get out of here. We're gonna end up experiments for that weirdo LaRue. It's hopeless. Mom, you heard those guys. 
They need the both of us to get the worm drive to work. Yeah, and they're probably going to give us lobotomies and put stuff in our butts. Yeah, they might. They might give us rectal probes. Or put stuff in our butts. Grandpa, what if I get laser shanked in the yard? What if I have to get a dang old job? 